Okay, here we have a frequency table, and they want us to construct a frequency histogram. Okay, so we set up our y-axis, go up down to here, and our x-axis, and then we, I always determine next what those axes are. So the intervals are down here on the x-axis, right, that'll be your intervals. And here on the y-axis, that'll be your frequencies. So the intervals are already predetermined, right, 61 to 70 and so forth, there are four intervals. So here, right, we set my intervals up and make them continuous. So we can start at 61 and we go to 70, right? That's our first interval. And then 71 to 80, so we can just write 80 here, and then 90, and then 100, right? It's, it's implied here that um, you don't have to say or worry about that little gap right there. Um, 61 to 70 is this whole range right here, and everything above 70 but below 80 goes in this, this gap right here, and so forth. So we can set those, those, those ranges up. Now we have our tallies, 5, 4, 9, 6. So we go by, let's say 2's, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then you'll make this nice and neat, I hope, on your exams, but here is, right, 5 is about halfway here. So we get that. Okay, next we have four. Okay. Then we have nine. It's about halfway here. And then last is six. <clears throat> and then I guess here, put a title, final exam scores. So here, you know, with these, with these histograms, um, it's a little tricky because of the of the gap here between 70 and 71 that might throw you off. But remember that if you, for example, draw this range 70 to 80, all you're saying is that there are four scores in that range. And, you know, with every histogram, you have to round up or down numbers that are on the line. We just happen to make this so that if you get 70, right, you round down because the interval is from 61 to 70. So if someone got a 70, they would be included in this group right here with a tally of 5. But if someone got a 71, right, this shows us that we round up to the next interval. But we take care of that here because 70 to 80, if we're always rounding numbers that are um, 70 and below down, anything slightly above 70 would naturally fall into this group. And they're only giving us numbers from 71 to 80, but that's okay. That'll still fall into this group. So we have to worry about those little gaps right there. Um, they'll just fit naturally into this interval scheme. All right, let's keep going.